It's Jerry's Corner. Doesn't anybody interview folks anymore? Guess I'll have to do it in this corridor. Anyway, that's it. Jerry's Corner. glasses but every time I put them on I gouge my own eyes out mm. yeah and the optometrist was like you don't need them exactly hey welcome back to Jerry's corner my name is Jerry Goffin, and of course and today I am joined by Finn Fairfield and Delaney Crawford hey welcome to Jerry's corner thank thanks you, for thank coming you. out happy to be here now well. yeah well I'm glad you're here so you're both on the wardrobe crew but you're also dressers yes what's that like tell me a little bit about that um it's uh it means we're we're alongside of being upstairs and, and helping everybody get dressed and right. changed. We're also and behind the scenes, making sure everything is stitched and sewn up. Okay. Playing real um, life dolls, if you will. Yeah. Real life dolls. So you get to dress people when they're backstage between yeah, costumes. Mm -hmm. Now, were you born perverts, or how did you get into that? I actually um, was. I was told that it was okay. when I was two, when my parents first got divorced. I was born into it. She's a convert. The convert. convert. Oh, okay. So it's like a religious thing. Yeah. Oh, I understand. Well, that's. Let's yeah. Say no more. Now, yeah. the Taco Bell comes with the religion, or does that separate? Uh, that is part of it. That's part of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's like oh, the chalupa. Take your pants off. Chalupa, exactly. Take your pants off. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Wrap supreme. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. fantastic. Now, how did you get involved in working backstage here at Omen? Uh, I was actually recommended by the costume designer here, Kendra. Kendra recommended you. Yep, they reached out to me over Fourth of July weekend while I was at Colonial Williamsburg, yeah, and uh, they offered me the job. And That's I was fantastic. like, of course, take it. Um, really well, take it. I went to what's called a, a theater cattle call, theater where I call. sat in front of fifty theaters, and they all got to interview me and ask whatever they wanted. What? Uh, and that had and, to be excruciating. Oh, it was terrifying. Um, and then I sat in my little chair and they said, what superpower would you want to have? And they didn't like my answer because I said, You said dress people. Oh, mm. oh. oh you said yeah, yeah, teleportation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. And they were like, that I sucks. Got a text. Yeah. Yeah. Invisibility. I got an email yeah. while I had COVID. Nice. And they were like, can you come in in one week and, and do our production beautiful? And I said, I, yes, I can. I will be negative. And then I forced <laughs> myself. You mm -hmm. willed it to happen. In I fact, it was two days before. You just went, when you, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was like, <laughs> yeah. And just, yeah, yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, my last question for you all today is uh, if you could be any Carol King song, which would you be and why? I think personally I would be um, I Feel the Earth Move. Mm -hmm. I think that one is one I liked before right. Beautiful the Musical, and it's the only one I can still listen to without being yeah. right, right, right. triggered by the fact that it's in the musical. Right, because of the yeah. vertigo that you got from COVID. You're like, I, I, I really resonate with this song. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Good, yeah. good. Mine's probably It's Too Late. It's just every right. time it comes on, I'm just jamming in the background. You it's also... It's too late. Don't bring that up. Don't, please. Please. Oh, no. Are you... I'm sorry. Are you right? I'm sorry. What happened? I'm sorry. It's too late. It's too late? It's too late. To apologize? Yes, exactly. It's too late. It's too late. <sighs> yeah. God, you know, I'm often late. Yeah. You know, Carol was late. Yeah. And then she had a baby. Exactly. Uh, so, but it, it's too late. It's and too Earth late. Move. Yes. That's fantastic choices. I love them. Well, thank you so much for joining us on Jerry's Corner. We'll be right back. Except we won't. So anyway, yeah, the glasses thing. It turns out, I don't need them. Well, you might have to stab yourself in the eye enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, that was surgery. 